Hi, and welcome to another episode with Blue Envy. Today, we are going to be talking about how I package my packages, how I make them look the way that they do, and make them safe for travel. So, if you want to learn how, grab your materials and let's go. Ready, set, let's pack some packages. All right, y'all, here we are. I already have my box folded up. You can get a box like this uh, from Paper Mart because these are where I got my boxes from. Um, I think they're a little expensive, but it goes with my product line and I love them. So this is what I use. I've already got it folded up. I already have my order here. Um, this person has ordered a custom occasion gift box. So this is what we're gonna be putting together today. And they ordered it in the style of happy birthday. So here we go. First things first is I always put in my um, wrapping paper. This is this paper that I'm gonna be using today. I've already got it pre-folded. I fold it in thirds and I fold it so that um, the seam here, I always put that inside because I don't like to see the, the end of the flap. So I fold that inside. You just fold in it the width of your box a little, or a little bit smaller here. So I do it just like this. You can also get these sheets right here. These are, I can't remember the size, but I will put it in the description box. You can also get these, um, paper, gift paper wrapping. I don't know what you really call it. Tissue, gift tissue wrap. Um, you can get it also from Paper Mart. Um, you can get it in solid colors or you can get it in a pattern. I like the pattern style because it goes with my, um, thank you, well, it goes with my theme of my company and my thank you card that I put inside of all my boxes. So I do that and then I kind of, put this over it here and I try to make one side shorter than the other. I know when I get ready to put it down in here, it's gonna, one side's gonna be shorter because when I get ready to wrap it over the product, I'm gonna take this whole thing over. You don't have to do that, it's just what I do. All right, the next step to processing this order is gonna be to put some egg um, shells in it or whatever you have, what kind of fluffy stuff to like fill the bottom of your box. And I just use uh, whatever I get from orders that I have. Uh, did my own self. I just save it. So if you get something from me and you see different types of uh, egg squishies, th these are the ones that I originally bought from um, Uline. These are biodegradable. They will not harm the earth. But I am also recycling these. I'm not sure what these are. These are probably styrofoam. But I recycle them because if I continue to use them and the next person continues to use them, then they don't get thrown away. Um, it, they're still clean. They're white. Uh, and it can be used more than one time. I hate using things one time and having to throw it away. Let's be easy on the environment and reuse what we can. Okay? Let's not make trash trash as much trash as I <laughs> I'm sorry I just woke up I'm trying to film this very early before my son wakes up and gets into everything so I put I fill the bottom of the box because some of the things that I'm putting here are glass so that's why I'm doing that and then the next thing I do is I put on my top which is going to be this uh, brown crinkly paper which is also recycled shred I'm trying to do my part where I can y'all so I just feel that and I just put it just so it covers the the white and that's my third layer so we got we're on layer three and then um, the next layer is actually going to be the actual products okay so I always put the, the, my regular label on front here, but on the side that's gonna be showing, it's gonna say happy birthday um, to the customer. So 
Um, I lay that here on this end. This is just where I've always done it. But usually, I put the candle in first because it's the the bulk of the the gift. I put the label on the bottom here, and I put whatever they asked to put on the candle on the front. And I squish some of the eggs and this to the side. I draw it up to make a space. You gotta make a hole, okay? You're gonna make a little hole so that your candle is touching the eggs a little bit, okay? You want that little bounce back when you feel it. You don't want that to touch the bottom of this because I'm trying to prevent a breakage of my candle. This piece is glass and then uh, the sugar scrub is also glass. The label's on top and I put happy birthday here. So the next thing I do is I squish up some more of the crinkle paper and up to the side of the candle because I don't want that right on each other. I make a little hole and then I put it in beside that. And then I cover the white of the egg so the customer is not looking at that. And you can do the same thing for the soap, but the soap is not gonna hurt if it bounces on up against that. I just try to make it as level as possible so it's as pretty as possible when the person gets the box. Then I do the same thing up top here for my bath bomb, the label, my label's here. And then the happy birthday label is there, so. I put that in right there and then I put the washcloth at here in its own little corner. And then the matches go on top here. And I just get a piece of tape and I roll it up here. And I put it on the bottom of my matches. And then I stick that there so it's not rolling around in the package, okay? All right, so this is my shorter side. So I cover this this way, just like that. And I get over here and I do the same thing here. I just try to even it up on the tops and the bottoms where I can. It does not have to be perfect. And I get a piece of tape. And I tape it off here, okay? And then, before I put my, well, my other, my extra fluff in, like you see, I could put some more fluff around this area here. But before I do that, I always put the person's card that they ask um, to be put in. They ask for a birthday uh, card and they put their own um, signature gift message inside. I won't show you that, it's personal. But I always match up. I look at it to make sure I've done everything right. This person ordered Tidal Wave. They ordered a happy birthday text and they didn't order a personalization, which is why they just got happy birthday on their matches. And then here, which I <laughs> hope you guys don't pause and read that. And this, so I'll blur it out. But here, this person's order. This is how I just make sure I match everything up. And then um, I put my card on top of it so that the person that's getting the gift can know where this came from and how they can reorder if they like something. And I also give them a coupon code if they wanna get something else from me. So now that that's done, I put a few more eggs inside. So that if the box gets touched, and y'all, you don't have to put a lot because these things are really hard. So I just fill in like the little gaps here. And you'll see when I get ready to close the box that it'll give me a little bit of resistance when I get ready to close the box. So I do this and I kind of push the sides up against the wall so that I can close it easily here like so see that see how it's giving me some i don't know if you can see how it's giving me some bounce back but i know that if something gets pressed on this 
that it's not gonna hurt my stuff that's inside of it. Okay. So that's that. And then I take my uh, regional rate A box. I have some crinkle paper inside of it. That's what I was holding in there. And then I put it inside here. And I usually squish this up against my chest to make sure it goes in. It's a perfect fit. And then I put some more eggs on top of this. So if anybody ever is like, my stuff came broken. I, it's very rare. It's very rare because I buy crush proof boxes, which is what this uh, white box is. I put eggs inside. I put paper inside on top and bottom. And then I put this in. It's in another box. So I just try to be as safe as possible. See, this gives me the same bounce back if somebody puts something on top of that and we just pray that it doesn't get all crazy okay so now we're just going to tape it up okay this order is actually going out today i have four things to pack up today well this morning so far and I do that and then I put on the um the label okay which I will do off camera later so thanks for watching I hope you like comment and subscribe I will put the things that I use for this package and how to package up my orders in the link description below. Thank you very much. And don't forget to hit the notification bell if you would like to know when I'm on again. I will be teaching you what I do and how I do it for the low, okay? Especially when you're first starting out. Um, I'm all about trying to share my information um, give tips and tricks to those who are just starting out. So if you're into all of that, please subscribe. All right. Bye.